Greetings, viewers and listeners, and welcome to the maiden edition of Total Title with Asantua. This also happens to be the first episode of the series entitled, Did You Know This? Did you know that one person could have a successful career in the field of science alongside a career in music? It is not a typical occurrence, but it is possible. My guest today has combined both effectively and excellently. He recently turned 90, 30 years after he retired from public service as a chief technician of chemistry and biochemistry, the highest rank in his professional life. He is an accomplished musician and has a number of laurels to his credit, including an honorary degree of Doctor of Letters by the Palm Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in 1992, and a Presidential Member of Voter Award in 2007. For the past 30 years post-retirement, he did not retire from music, but has been working at the Center for Cultural and African Studies at the Palm Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Ghana, as well as leading the Adadampa Bofoma group that he founded. He is known in private life as Mr. Daniel Ampoxa. Ladies and gentlemen, my conversation today is with Ejako Nimo. Eja, you are welcome to Teacher Turtle. Thank you. I thank you very much for gracing the space with your guest presence. I have given a little bit of background about you, but I'm sure you want to share more with listeners and viewers about your upbringing. How was it like growing up? I was born in the town of Fumasi, Achuma, Guanguma, Shelton. My father, opening Kwame Amponsa, was a trumpeter and a guitarist. My mother, the Kofu, sang in the Methodist Square. So I was born into a real musical family. Okay, that is interesting to know. So, Eja, at what point did you realize that you had an interest in science as well? Um, In primary school, we had a teacher by the name M.G. So he attended Achimota. He was a violinist, but he also taught us nature study. Okay. And uh, I became really interested in um, what he, he taught us. And um, he was just escorted to the surroundings collect leaves, no and then explain these things to us. Okay. So he chose a great of interest in science. Okay. And then later on, when I grew up, I took science. In the secondary school? <laughs> secondary school. Okay. Up to, up to what level? O level or A level? O level. At that time, it was Cambridge School Certificate. Okay. <laughs> 1949 to 1952. Okay. And um, we had Dr. Rota, okay. who had taught us St. Monica's Bambo. Okay. She was a physicist. Okay. And um, we had Dr. Arthur Taylor, okay. mathematician, who taught mathematics here. Okay. Then Professor Udamati. Okay. So, uh, uh, Mathematics teacher. And these were all teachers in which school? All uh, in, in the Southern. Okay, at the Southern <laughs> College. That is where you went to secondary yes. school. And then after the Southern College, you went to. Uh -huh. I left at the Southern in 1952. Okay. They went to my village to teach. All right. <laughs> and my salary was uh, just about. It was enough. Uh, but I was able to raise a library. Wow. <laughs> In fact, in the saddle, we then read a Latin. Okay. So we were encouraged to, 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 to act, please. And it really helped us okay. to read the masters. 
and um, you had Professor Elizabeth who taught us mathematics and science, okay. physics, chemistry. Okay, so after your Cambridge uh, education, yeah. where did you go? Where did you do and your professional study yeah, as a technician? The Medical Research Institute to do clinical pathology. Okay. I call him where? Okay, what's that? Okay. Did you meet him? No, but we read about him. Okay. <laughs> and I'm really proud to have been associated with this great man. Yes. Um, we were about 15 students. And he's the one that the Higuchi yes. Memorial Research Institute yes. is named after. after graduation, I was posted to Kumasi. Of okay. And I've been Professor W. M. Lane, okay. a pathologist who was the first dean of the medical school. Okay. He was my boss, and I would say I'm a, a friend. Okay. Well, he loved the guitar and okay. encouraged me a lot. All right. Okay, so Eja, um, taking you a step backwards. Mm -hmm. In your professional life as a, a technologist or a technician, and also pursuing your passion as a musician, did you have any difficulties marrying these two passions of yours? Yes. Okay, would you like to share with us? Yeah. Um, <laughs> challenges. Um, you know, English is not my mother tongue, so I had to consult the Oxford Dictionary for an explanation. I wanted to really understand uh, some of the challenges. And so challenge, something demanding, call to something to participate in the contest, an action or statement calling something into question. An attempt to win a sporting contest. Um, my problem was with the time distribution. Okay. And what uh, the practice was that um, maybe when I was in primary school, after every day's work, I would do all my homework. If I'm good to sleep. Okay. And when I grew up, I really wake up around about 1 30 or 2. So this is the washroom. Then I take my guitar and practice to see 1 to 4 or 1 to 4 30. At dawn. At the dawn. <laughs> then go to the lab. For example, in the chemistry department, it was about 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. The professor could form. Class class would start at 7. Yes. So it is 1960. And um, I think my use of leisure, I think, was special. Um, and I was almost always writing down. DJ songs, you see. An old man or an old woman would be a think tank, okay. a mobile museum, a walking encyclopedia, <laughs> and a library of fire. Mm. <laughs> a library of, <laughs> of fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If a library catches fire, if you don't pump water at the right time, if you pump too much water, you destroy all of So. Because all my friends were the UJ. In Kumasi, for example, the late C.E. Hosse, Governor of Bank, Ghana, was a friend of mine. Now, we visit every Sunday to, to learn proverbs and court language. So I think I was distributing my time. Okay. On Saturday, when I was in Manchia, after my normal duties, I walked down to Kenya 
to listen to newly released gramophone songs on the HMV. Okay. And I was very young, so I think I, was, I had a malleable mind. I was imbibing all these songs. Musicians so like Jacobson, Apabani, Gokanta, Riku, Wabra Mesa, Tosi Pipra, Yokuni, and all of them. So when I took on the guitar, I could remember the works of all these great musicians. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. In, the, uh, in uh, to my question of uh, the challenges you faced in marrying these two passions of yours, that is science and music, you had indicated that the biggest challenge was time management, and it also became your biggest strength because you were able to apportion your time effectively. Was there ever a day? As a professional, where you have to leave work as a technician in order to attend to a musical calling or Good, interesting assignment. Question. Professor W. N. Lee was my boss at Governor Okay. And his friend was Professor Kofu. Okay. And he told the name I need Ko in my lab. I don't know. Circumstances were interested. I resigned. Okay. Now one interesting thing was that in the time I had an assignment and I had to leave campus, I made sure I had permission from my head of department. And if I in traveling abroad from the vice chancellor. Okay. And I would say, this trip will be of no, the university will not. Direct benefit to the university, uh, but please. And I when I finished my work, I my study, I returned immediately to base. As a sign of your commitment yes. to your work. Okay, so it means your superiors were very supportive of your very talent and your In fact, Professor Lane learned to play the guitar. Okay. And Professor Kufo also loved my music. Okay. Let's confess. And um, if I want, his mom passed away. I was in uh, Martinique attending the International Conference of Guitar. I had a radio message from the embassy. I flew down to play Sepulwa at uh, I believe you. Okay, that's a uh, professor. And in fact, in the funeral, I believe you. Uh, it's an honor for me. You almost want to be invited to perform. And I perform in, in, the, in the middle of the house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Real, real privilege. It's, it's an indication of your commitment to duty. I, I yes. You. Because yeah. it's, if you have a work environment where your superior supports your side job or your hobby or your passion, which is not directly in line with your duty, then it's a, testi a testament of your cordial relationship yeah. with them. There was one occasion when the late Dr. Ejabi treated me with malaria okay. and said I should rest. I must confess, I didn't rest. <laughs> okay. And I attended the funeral and Dr. Demi was also attending that very funeral and saw me drumming. She <laughs> <laughs> drove the coat. He was so interested. You can't believe that. I was just doing it and you were performing. Yeah. Sometimes you love for the passion. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Eja, I would like to find yeah. out from you did you have to give up anything? Did you have to sacrifice anything in order to? Excel both as a technician and a musician. Hmm. Sacrifice. I remember Nana Abraham. Okay. Sarah had a child. Yes. And his faith in his creator was such that he went to the extent Offering his son and giving tied in, but the, the child was also faithful in his father. But then there was a voice that is a ram behind faith. And I have to say, prayer is the key of heaven, faith unlocks the door. Okay. Um, it's, it's sometimes we have to really 
sacrifice. And together time, also sometimes when I'm teaching students, uh, I don't usually take money. Okay, so you make sacrifices. Yes. So and it's a voluntary approach to your teaching. Yes. And the scale. at the moment, there are four students, private students. And one of them, Papa, how much what will you pay for an hour's lesson? <laughs> you cannot pay me for it. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, all I would expect you to do is to learn to play the guitar. I want you to learn and play the guitar the way it should be played. And that was something Professor Smaro Puku, President Mabri and Professor Dave, instilled in me. Uh, practicing. Now, about four or five years ago, the Danish government awarded me some. Uh, gave me a lump sum of money to train little children. Okay. And I had 27 children around the UBS. Okay. But I realized they were, you see them on Saturdays. Look. And the award had other ingredients, crayons, okay. notebooks. And the interesting thing was that it was Saturday at 7 a.m. Not 701 AM. <laughs> if you came in at 701, you out. It was a long girl whose grandma stayed at um, Sofolai, okay. And the old lady would make sure that the granddaughter comes to Ibiasi uh, by 6 30. Okay. I was on campus, a young girl walks to me. Papa, do you remember? He said, no. I don't know if you say, I am so full. I am the second year. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, and um, back to sacrifices. Yes, teach them um, painting, drawing. I'll tell them stories. And then I'll call them to either paint the story okay. or draw the story. Kids who could not actually tell us the story uh, to share the imagination. Just draw. The last trait. Uh, okay. And in that same most all the students who passed to us are excelling. So would you say your your greatest sacrifice is teaching your skill without um, a lot of putting a lot of premium on the monetary returns? Yes. But you find that very satisfying. Yes, I guess. at the moment I've got a student, a couple of So Baba, how much are you charging me for analysis? You stay with the guitar. Now, something happened. I wanted, I misplaced a book. Uh, and I wanted him to go to the Google and get me something. He came and brought me something. <laughs> you know, said, How much about going to pay for it? And you know, they, 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 yeah. ah, he was embarrassed. I think sacrificing your time and your talent. Yes without requesting or yeah, demanding fact, any money. I have three guitarists. My first official guitar student was Nana George Dad. Okay. Good to both. Okay. And then I have George Kratz, he's a reverend, and has an MSc in horticulture. Opo Chichibu is now in France, great building technology. Paoli is now a medical doctor. These are my students. I really grilled. Okay. This is my job. <laughs> okay. Good to know that you take uh, joy and satisfaction from your products. Yes. Viewers and listeners, the conversation is getting exciting and we might have to end here and do a part two next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.